Kim Shelley with the Stanford Wellness Center bringing you a vinyasa yoga. We will move through some twists, get rid of some of the tension that's built up, get us moving and feeling good. We'll begin in child's pose with a few breaths, bringing hips down to the mat, lowering down forehead on the mat, letting the hips relax, letting the arms relax, relax the shoulders. Maybe nod the forehead side to side, massaging out the sinuses a bit. You turn the palms up, noticing the shoulders, relax the shoulders down, maybe pull those palms together. Prayer hands, thumb to the nape of the neck. Release the chest a little bit more toward the floor, release the hips toward the heels. Deepen the breath, feel the belly expand into the thighs. The rib cage expands, sides, back. And release the hands to the mat. Two more rounds of breath. Full, long inhale. Sigh out the exhale. Inhale. Side the exhale. Roll forward on the inhale, all fours. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, little wrist warm up. Take right hand, palm up. Pull the fingers in toward the heel, the hand, thumb wraps around. Open the fingers. And then fingers pull in, thumb wraps around. Good, one more time. And other side. Palm up, fingers pull in, thumb wraps around. Open the hand nice and wide, thumb pulls in, fingers wrap around. Hands point on the mat, roll a little bit forward, a little bit back. Turn the fingers out to the sides, side to side, opening up the forearms and the wrists. Fingers point toward knees. A little forward back. Heel of the hand stays on the mat as you're able. Go ahead, plant the hands. Curl the right toes under. Send the left toes back. Reach forward and back. And bring left toes to mat. Keep them curled under, send right foot back, toes curled under, stretching out the feet a little bit. Find length in the spine, shoulders away from the ears, belly pulls away from the floor. Plant both knees, toes can flip, shoelace side of the foot down, inhale, cow, chest reaches forward. Exhale, cat, round the spine, even curve, gentle curve. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale back. Think more about the gentle rounding them all the way through the whole spine and then length. Reach the collarbones up, the sternum lengthens more so than the chin reaching higher. One more time, exhale, cat. Inhale, cat. Plant yourself firm. Always option to do fist for wrist. Thumbs facing forward, shoulders away from ears, or drop to forearms. Spinal balance, right leg reaches back, hip height, toes point down, left arm reaches forward. Reach, lengthen, eyes gaze top of mat. See if you can lengthen a little bit more, pull that left hip in. Now elbow to knee, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Pay attention to the length. Find that reach, that square hips and shoulders. One more here. Lengthen out. Hand and knee to mat. Set yourself strong. A lot of pressure in the pointer finger, thumb side of the hand. Inhale, right arm reaches, left leg back. Set yourself again, belly pulls away from the floor. Gaze top of mat, fingertips reaching, foot flexed, heel reaching. Exhale, elbow knee. Inhale, 
now like exhale elbow knee and have length two more times pull in grab that spine lengthen out last one and reach exhale hand and knee to mat push back to child's pose really wide knee forehead to mat arms reach shift those hips side to side Wide knee child's pose, walking the hands to the left, lower forehead down, right palm stacks on top of left. Feel length from the right hip all the way through the right pinky finger. Take a big inhale, breathe into the side ribs. Now pull that right shoulder blade toward the right hip. Anchor it down and find the breath. On the next inhale, lift up a bit, thread your right arm through under left armpit, thread the needle right side of face to mat. Left hand can slide in a little closer to the shoulder, give you some leverage to open up. Let the hips sink, maybe the left arm comes up to the sky and behind the waist. Let yourself surrender into the rotation here. First rotation of our practice. Notice what you feel. Relax the left elbow. It's behind the back. And inhale, the arm comes up. Exhale, it plants. Slowly inhale, move to the other side. So walk your way into the wide leg side flexion. Lower the forehead down. Left hand stacks on top of right. Left hip gets heavy. Find the length from the left hip through the left pinky finger. Big inhale. Now think about drawing that left shoulder blade toward the hip. Breathe deep. Let go on the exhale. On the next inhale, gently lift up a bit. Slide the left arm through under right arm pad, left side of face. Up. You can slide your right arm a little bit closer to the shoulder, open up, use a little leverage, rotate. Hips continue to sink. Maybe the right arm reaches up to the sky and wraps behind the waist, tucking the fingers in near the left thigh. Breathe into the twist, lengthen the spine, tail through top of the head. One more round of breath. And slowly bring the right hand down to plant. Make your way back to center child's pose. Draw the knees in a little bit closer together. Let the belly rest on the thigh, the forehead resting. Pull those forearms away from the floor as the palms push into the mouth. Curl toes under, downward facing dog. Bend and straighten the legs. Lift the tail high. A lot of pressure in the pointer finger, thumb side of the hand. Eyes gaze past the heels, past the thighs. Now bend knees a lot. Lift the tail toward the sky. Find leg in that upper body. Let the heels get heavy. The heels may never touch the floor. That's definitely not a requirement. We're trying to find length and strength. Pull the center of the palm away from the mat as if you've got a ladybug right underneath it that you're cradling under the palm. A lot of pressure into the finger knuckles. Inhale, lift heels high. Exhale, heels shift to the right and lower. Inhale, lift heels high. Exhale, sh heels shift left and lower. One more time each direction. Follow the breath. Inhale up through center. Exhale, down and to center. Inhale, step the right foot about a foot forward and wide on the mat. Same with the left. 
A little wide leg downward facing dog as we add rotation here. Right hand moves to right, left ankle, shin or thigh. Look through under the left armpit. Find the breath. Square the hips. Let the neck get long. Slowly make your way back to center. Plant the right hand. A lot of pressure in the pointer finger, finger thumb side. And rotate through to the left. Left hand to the right. Left hand planting on ankle, shin or thigh. Hips square. Length of the spine. Head falls. Neck gets full. Maybe noticing a little stretch in the inner thighs as well as the rotation. Inhale back to center, hand plant. Find your downward facing dog. Bring knees to the mat, kneeling plank. Know that this is always an option in practice. Pull belly away, shoulders over rest. Draw elbows along long ribs, lower to low plank. Hips to the mat. Inhale, reach chest forward, lengthen up. Exhale, back to child's pose. Inhale, roll forward to kneeling plank. Exhale, low plank. All the way down, inhale, cobra. Just for today, let's bring those hands out a little bit wide and a little bit above your shoulders. A little awkward cobra here. Top of foot pushes into back. Legs are strong. Belly pulls away. Inhale, lengthen up. Open the collarbones, find that leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, look over right shoulder. Exhale, lower. Think more about length than the height of your lift. Look over left. Exhale, lower. One more time, each way. Inhale, lift up, look over right. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift up, look over left. And lower. Slide the hands alongside the ribs. Push up through kneeling and downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high, straight up behind you. Hips are square. Find that pressure in the pointer finger, thumb side. Lift up on those left toes. And now let the left heel fall, but the right leg stays long and straight. Open the right hip to the side and kick yourself in the bum. Point that knee a little higher. Reach that right heel. Back and away a little farther, like you're going to kick your neighbor. Still even pressure in hands. One more breath. See if you can lift the knee a little higher. Engage the right glute. Inhale back to center. Exhale, step right foot in. Kneeling lunge. Drop the hand down. If you have blocks, you're welcome to use them for a prop to raise up the floor. A little leverage as you push down with the heart open. Feel that leg. Hips are square. So bring your hands to hips, right and left. Find them even. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Find that leverage. Inhale, arms rise up. Find length. Keep that length in the front of the hip. The left hip here is tall and strong. Easy twist, reaching left arm forward, right arm back. Gaze back at the right hand as you're able. Hips stay square. Now inhale, sweep that right arm back up. And exhale, hands come down to mat or block. Step back to your plank, full or kneeling. Stay here or exhale, lower low plank. Inhale, cobra again or choose up dog. Hips off the mat, strong long. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg high, three leg dog. Again, lift up on those right toes. And now lower the heel, anchor it down. Open the left hip to the side. Kick yourself in the bum. Really open that hip high. So we've got a twist going on, we've got a hip opener. Strength through the upper body, the core. Reach that left foot back a little farther if you can. 
Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step in. Kneeling lunge, drop the right knee down. Again, use blocks if you choose. Find our position, front knee over front ankle. Again, left hip pulls back, right hip forward, nice and square, lower abs zip up. The more you can zip in those lower abs, the more stretch we get in front of the hip flexor. Inhale, arms raise up. Turn those pinky fingers in a little bit, drop the shoulders out of your ears. Feel like you're dragging your left heel back just a little bit, engage that glute hamstring. Nice little easy twist here, right arm reaches forward, left arm reaches back. Drop the shoulders, rotate, breathe. Find a little more length through the crown of the head. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, hands come to plant, mat or block, step back to your plank. And flow one more time. Low plank. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, eyes travel top of mat, feet travel top of mat. Inhale, half lift, hands to shins, thighs, or use those blocks. We want to find length in the back of the legs without rounding the spine. So think about the hips lifting and wherever you need to be for the neutral spine. Exhale, bow, bend knees a lot, let the head fall. Again, support, belly and chest attached to thigh. Maybe take the feet about hip width apart here. Opposite hand, opposite elbow. Let the head fall, biceps between ears. And find a little loosening side to side. Hips continue to lift. Move them over heels. Find that length. Switch out the cross of the arms. And here, release the neck a little bit more. Nodding yes, no, and a big yes to all the good things you're doing in your practice today. Release the hands. Bend knees. Find length in spine. Inhale, rise up. Chest lifts, arms raise. Bring hands to heart center, hands to hips. Find the breath, find the length in the spine. Feet can be hip width apart, a little wider foundation, more stability, a little more challenge, big toes touch, slice of pie between heels, now zip it up. Strong log through back of the neck. Go ahead, relax those shoulders back and down. Inhale, arms rise. Pinky fingers turn in a bit. Keep shoulders out of the ears. Right hand, I'll mirror you. Right hand clasps around left. Side bend to the right. Inhale, center. And side bend to the left. Square the shoulders. Bring that left arm forward a little bit. Inhale, center. Switch it out one more time each way. Think about that alignment. Strong legs, strong glutes and hamstrings, root down into heels, but still pressure in front feet. Now back bend, elbows go wide. Open that heart again. Inhale, rise up. One more time, open the heart. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant hands. Step back to plank, right foot down left. Again, always your option to flow, fall or kneeling or hold the plank. We add on inhale, right, right, three, leg up. Exhale, step in, kneeling lunge. Inhale, arms raise. This time, choose that easy twist or prayer hands, hinge, hook left elbow over right thigh and rotate. Keep pulling right hip back, pull the right shoulder down. Now draw the heart open toward the thumbs. Find length. One more breath. Inhale, rise up. Moving into a gate pose. Right leg goes long, arms out to the side. Maybe a block at the back of your mat. Arms reach out to side, 
First find, open the gate, drop the right hand to the thigh, left arm reaches. Inhale back to center, shoulders down the back. Push the hips forward a little bit more, engage that left glute, strong in that right leg. Inhale, up. Exhale, side plank. Left hand to block, right arm reaches. Again, you're open and forward. You're strong. Shoulder like you're pushing into a wall, front and back. Inhale, back, and exhale, over. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, down, side body work. Arm can reach over, bring it up, and over. Breath to movement, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, one more time. Exhale and cartwheel hands, either side of the block, down to the mat, and refind your plank. So your back of your mat could be tricky depending on where you have your, your laptop set up. Stay here or flow, you know where we're going, in low plank. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it in for your lunge. Drop the right knee. Inhale, arm strikes. Exhale, we've got that twist. So either easy or hook the right elbow over your left thigh. Find your prayer hands. Find length through the spine. Keep drawing the left hip back. Left shoulder blade down toward the spine, toward the hip pocket. Strong through the core, rotate a little bit more. Inhale, up. And again, open to that gate. So right foot comes behind, left leg extends. Maybe you find that block if you haven't. Come up to your gate. Reverse your gate. Bring the right arm up. Take it over, hips push ahead. Come back to your center. One more time here, just like we did in our side flexion. We keep the shoulders square, come back, and now down to your side leg. Arm reaches, lengthen up. Inhale, back to center. Reverse. And center. Down. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. Inhale, up. Strong through that side body all the way. Inhale, up. Exhale, over. Inhale, and exhale. Cartwheel those hands, top of mat. Find your plank. Stay or flow. Downward facing. Inhale, eyes into hands, feet travel top, back, inhale, half lift, exhale, back. Root down, inhale, rise up, side bend right, inhale, center, side bend left, inhale, center, back bend, inhale, rise up, exhale, fold, bow the head, inhale, half Lift. Exhale, plant hand. Left foot back then right. Find your plank and flow. Low plank. Inhale, cobra up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We add on inhale, right leg lifts. Open into that scorpion dog. Kick yourself in the bum. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Option for blocks or hands on back. Option for kneeling. Always choose where you need to work today. Find that edge, but stay in a place where you want to do it again tomorrow. Heel anchors. Inhale, rise up. High crescent lunge. Back leg is strong. Back heel lifted and reaching. Front knee over front angle. And pull that right hip back. Left hip forward. From here, we can move into the easy twist, reaching left arm forward, right back. Or find that prayer twist. 
Finding our way, opening the heart, elbow stacks. Back leg still strong, quiet. Now open up, warrior two. Sink into the front thigh, shoulders away from the ears. Stay strong, over right hand or continue looking at the side. Back toes turn in a little bit. Knife the outside of the back foot into the mat. Now draw the right hip back. Grow strong and long. Relax the jaw. Breathe. Inhale. Reverse your work. Lengthen up. Square. Strong in that inner thigh. Back thigh is pulling away. Front thigh sinking. Exhale. Cartwheel hands. Either side of the front foot. Step back to your plank. Stay or flow. Meet in downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, left leg high, three leg up. Open it up for your scorpion knot. Reach that knee, kick yourself in the bum. Find length through the spine, even pressure in hands. Inhale, leg west. Exhale, low lunge. Find your strength and length again. Back leg strong and straight. Front heel dragging back. Inhale, arms rise. Engage in your thighs. Sink. Low center of gravity, lower edges, zipping up again. Now rotate. Left hand comes back, right arm forward. Or find that prayer twist. Draw the heart open. Find the breath. Lengthen. Good. Inhale, open it up to that warrior two. Just gonna flip it around. You're on warrior two on the left side. You've got it. Hold that strength. Open up. Breathe. See if you can sink a little lower in that thigh. Pull right thigh wide. Knife the outside of the back foot in. You've got this. Shoulders pull together, arms reach. Stay strong over your left hand. Inhale, reverse your warriors. Find that length. Again, you're open. Right shoulder drops. Front knee still over front ankle. Good. Exhale, cartwheel hands. Either side of front foot. Step back to your plank. Stay or flow. And meet in downward facing dog. Three rounds of breath. Inhale, eyes lift hands. Feet trap to the top of the mat and find your fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, chair pose. Sit back into that chair. Push weight into the heels. Heart is open, hands can stay at heart. See if you can push back a little bit further. Glue those inner thighs together. Arms can reach up, they can stay here. Sink a little bit lower, a little bit lower. One more time, you got this. Let's push those hips back, lift the heart open. Good, rise up, hands to hips. We add on, inhale, chair. Sit down. Exhale. Prayer twist to the right. Hook your left elbow over the right, right thigh. Gaze, spine length. Sit a little bit lower. Sit back a little bit farther. Beautiful. Now gaze down towards your right toes. Good. Pick your left heel up. Keep that rotation. Keep that strength. Pick the left heel up like you're gonna kick yourself in the bum, and now set it back for your twist and lunge. You made it, good work. Find your length and strength, open it up, and rotate into your warrior two. Settle in, drop the shoulders, strong, gaze strong over right hand. Inhale, reverse, breathe, lengthen. Exhale, side angle. Reach, stay low in the front thigh. Forearm to thigh, 
or drop. Find your angle. Sink into the front thigh. Find the heart open. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straight the front leg. Lengthen through the side body. Back leg is strong. Pull kneecaps to thighs. Lengthen the side body. Now tick tuck the arms for your triangle pose. Hinge, keep pushing the left hip back. Right forearm and thigh. Open the heart. Breathe, find more length in the side body. Reverse your warrior back into the front knee. Exhale, cartwheel hands. Either side of the front foot, step back to your plank. And downward facing. Inhale, eyes lift the hands, feet travel top of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, back. Inhale, chair pose. Sink. Exhale. Mountain. Left side. I'm just moving to the other side so that you can see the poses. So you stay facing the same direction. You're great. Inhale, arms rest. This time, exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center. Side bend right. Inhale, center. Back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, chair pose. Sit down. Nice and far back. Shoulders down and up. See if you can sink a little bit lower as you bring your hands to the heart. Keep lengthening spine. Hook right elbow over left thigh. Rotating to on the twist. Now notice, is your right knee creeping forward? Pull the right hip back. Rotate from the ribs, find the leg. Now gaze down at your left pinky toe. Root down into that left foot. Pick your right heel up. Now kick yourself in the bottom. You know where we're going. Step the right foot back. Find your twisted lunge. Find more length here. Square those hips up. Breathe. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Sink shoulders down. Root the front heel. Open the heart, gaze strong. Over left foot. Inhale, reverse square. Stay in that front knee. Lift out of the hips. Exhale, side angle, reach. Tick tock the arms, forearm to thigh or down inside. Find length in the side body. Right arm can come over the ear. Maybe gaze upward. Left back leg is still strong. Front heel, root down, inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the front leg. Strong and long, exhale. Triangle pose. Right hip pushing back. Left arm pushes into front thigh. Again, make the top arm active. As if you're pushing against the wall with that palm. And now lengthen the side body. Finding more lengthen that triangle. Back leg is active. Even pressure in feet. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend into front knee. Arm floats up. Exhale, cartwheel hands. Either side of front foot. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale. Awesome. We're going to move to the other side. We'll start with that right leg and we'll add on, add in some fire. If you have a block or something to raise up the floor a little bit, you can put that at the top of your mat. We'll do some bouncing half moon and revolve triangle for a little bit of fun. You're ready. Strong core. Lengthen up. Shoulders away from yours. Inhale, arms rise. Find your leg, root down. Exhale, hands to head. Strong, tall mountain. Find your gaze focused. Inhale, chair pose. Raise up your long and strong. Exhale, hands twist to the right. Hook that left elbow. Open the heart. Eyes gaze toward right pinky toe. 
left foot picks up and steps back to a strong twisted lunge. Inhale, warrior two. Find your strength. Good, here's where we get to find our balancing half moon. So find your strength, find your length. Shift into the front leg. So slide the back leg back. Hinge, straightening the front leg. The body floats up to the side. Opening, lengthening. Open the heart. Stack hip over hip. Root down into the front leg. Maybe you start to float the right hand. Feel that left arm active, pushing into the wall. Feel that left foot pushing away. It's active and strong. With control, exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Yeah, you did it. Exhale, side angle, reach. Open. Maybe left arm comes overhead, long, sinking to the front thigh. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Listen. Exhale, cartwheel hands, either side of front foot. Step the back foot in for a little short warrior one stance. So back foot's at a 15 to 45 degree angle. Toes can be thinking about pointing toward the top corner of your mat. Pull your right hip back. Inhale up, warrior one. Shoulders stacked over hips. Pull the front heel back, back heel forward. You got it. Now, hands come to hips. Straight to the front leg as reach hard forward. Bringing left hand to block or mat inside or outside the right foot. Rotate the heart open, keep length in the spine. Here's your revolve triangle. Push your left hip in the ground, left heel in the ground, draw your right hip back, left hip forward, draw the heart open. Bend into front knee, inhale, rise back up to your warrior one, Exhale, hands plant, step back to plank, stay or flow, low plank, inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, eyes lift to hands, feet travel top of mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow. Root down. Inhale, rise up to your chair. Same thing, left side. I'm just moving to the back of the mat. You can stay where you're at. Sink. Rotate to the left. Right elbow hooks. Hips are square, long spine. Anchor that elbow into thigh. Gaze at your left toes. Pick your right foot up. Step it back. Low lunge, twisted. Inhale, rise up, warrior two, anchor. Inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, warrior two, moving into balancing half moon. So your goal is to keep the body together and shift into that open side body. So for me, it's more of a two-step or three-step method, but if your body floats, Take it right there into your bouncing half moon. Key components are the core strong. You're long, head through foot. Top hands pushing against that wall, opening you up. You're strong in your standing leg. One more breath. With control, warrior two. Find reverse, or find your reverse, drawing that left arm up. Exhale, side angle. Left arm drops. Right arm overhead, lengthen through the side body. Open the hips back, like rooting down and strong. 
Inhale, reverse triangle. Strong front leg. Even pressure in feet. Long through each side body. We're not dumping. We're long. Triangle pose. Tick tock the arms. Find the breath. Reverse your warrior. Bend into the front knee. Exhale, cartwheel your hands either side of front foot. Short stance, warrior one. You can be on railroad tracks here rather than a tightrope for stability. Find that leg. Back toes turn until you're facing that corner of the mat. Inhale, rise up. Shoulders square over hips. Strong lower body. You should kind of feel a stretch in the front of this thigh as you're anchoring in with that back leg because it's so strong. Hands come to hip creases, straighten the front leg, and fold over those fingers. Reach the arm forward, left hip back, right hip forward. Again, you can use a block to raise up the floor, bringing it on the inside or the outside of the left foot and open up, long neutral spine, pulling left hip back, left arm can stay at hip, or raise up to the sky. Dial the heart open, you're strong, you're long, you're twisting out the tension, wringing out what we don't need, exhale, bring those hands back, step back to your plank, and stay or flow through your vinyasa. Meet in downward facing back. Two rounds of breath. Inhale, eyes with the hands, feet travel top of mat. Inhale, huff. Exhale, bow. Root down, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale. Awesome, we're going to flow through that one more time. Breath to movement, a little bit longer hold on the revolved triangle and the bouncing half moon. And we're going to add in some side plank and then we'll wrap it up with some stretching. Start at the top of our mat. You know where we're going, probably better than I do, so sometimes it takes a team. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, rotate to the right. Twist your chair. Gaze at the right pinky toe. Step back, twist and lunge. Left foot is back, you're rotating right. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, settle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Take it back to your warrior two and flow right into your bouncing half moon. Find it, open it up. Two rounds of breath, stick it right here. Long all the way through the body. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Long through side body. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel hands. Short stance, warrior one prep. Inhale, rise up, strong and long. Exhale, maybe long arms reach, and you find that twist. Front leg straightens, revolve triangle. Both hips are even, you're opening. One more breath here. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands plant. Step back to plank. Whoops, I forgot what I was going to do. Step that right foot forward. We're okay. Right foot stays. Option to drop the left knee down. Open the right foot up to the side. I'm going to get my back side on the side plank. And then railroad tracker stack. Find your side plank. Open it up, maybe float the top leg, lengthen, reach, 
Exhale, hands plant. Now you're in your plank, downward facing dog. Inhale, eyes lift the hands, feet travel top of mat. Inhale, half. Exhale, bow. Inhale, chair pose. Are you move to the other side? You stay where you're at. Exhale, rotate left for your prayer twist. Gaze at your left pinky toes. Right foot picks up, steps back with control. Anchor the left heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior two. Exhale, settle in. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, balancing half moon. Make your way there. Maybe this time you float it with even more control. Lifting up, lengthening. Maybe the left hand floats. You're open and strong. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Strong leg, strong side body. Exhale, triangle. Reach it. Inhale, reverse your warrior bend into the front knee. Exhale, cartwheel hands. Either side of front foot. Short warrior one. Rarely track the heels. Back toes face corner of the mat. Bend into front knee. Come on up. Exhale. Left arm or right arm reaches forward. Left arm comes back. We're hinging, straightening front leg. Opening revolve triangle. Little pressure into right shin. Lengthen. Everyone's stance is going to be different on this. Mine's a little shorter. Yours might be a little longer. Square the hips. Dial the heart open, long spine. Inhale, back up to warrior one. We'll see if we can remember this time. Exhale, hands plant. Good. Step that left, or right foot stays back. Step the left back, open up into your side plank. Hopefully you're on the other side. If not, switch it out. Exhale. Hands plant, plank, flow one more time if you'd like, and meet in downward facing. Two rounds of breath. Bend knees a lot, bring knees to mount. Bring legs around to set. Bring left leg forward, right leg crosses over. Sit tall. So important here is both hips are on the mat. So maybe you put a block in your hips. Right leg can also be right here or cross over. Right arm comes down, down beside the hip, kind of anchoring it in close, long spine. Inhale, left arm comes up and hooks over. So maybe you're here. Maybe you bend the elbow and hook that upper arm across the thigh and rotate back behind. Breathe deep. Seated spinal rotation. Or lower to the fissures. Another option is to bring that right heel to the hip if both hips will anchor. For me today, I stay right here, and that's okay. We're getting the twist. Come back to center. Now if it's in your practice, Gomakasana, cow face pose. Right knee stays over and left. You might bring, it's working now. You might bring that left hip back. Every day is a new day, new expectations, none. Inhale, arms come up. This time your right arm comes underneath your left. So first we'll find that eagle. Lift the elbows up, stretch out the shoulders, and then draw those elbows in. Tell the smoke I'm wrong. This is our eagle pose. Inhale, elbows up. Exhale, draw elbows in. 
Now, twist to the right. Give yourself a little more rotation. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Notice the hip opener that you get here. Good. Now come back to center. And now we can go to that Gomukhasana pose where we're bringing the right ankle. If your legs will stack, you can. Another option is to put a block between if you have nice space like I do, or keep the left leg straight. All are good choices. Go ahead. Now bring right arm, left arm up, right arm over, lengthen up. Good. Draw the left shoulder into its socket rib cage in. Maybe add a little side bend here if you want. And then come back to center, and now you can reach forward. So whether you're in those legs crisscrossed, or one leg straight, find that hip stretch. Flex the right foot a little bit more. Let that right knee fall toward the mat. Let the head fall if you find all the length you can. And slowly walk, walk yourself up to center. Right leg goes long. We'll find that spinal twist first. Left leg can come, tuck in or cross over. Left arm behind near the hips, sit tall. Right arm can hook or elbow can hook. Rotate, find length and rough. And again, if your body's ready for you, you can bring that right heel in close to the left, right, left hip, lengthen up. Rotate from the ribs. Think of your hips being anchored, and you're ever so gently rotating each vertebrae around, head follows spine, not forcing anywhere in particular. Come back to center. Again, find those Garandasana or eagle legs. Either wrap tight here, those heels in, or the left leg can go long. Arms come up, left arm on your right this time. You can find a single wrap or a double. Elbows raise, elbows draw in, round, inhale up, exhale out, inhale up, and this time you can add a little more twist if you want, drawing yourself toward the left shoulder, stay down, out of the ears, rotate, hug those inner thighs, come back to center, Gomukhasana, or sometimes called fire log legs. Again, you can stack them or bring them right leg long, sit tall. Good. Now, this is the opposite side. I've lost my right and left, so I don't know. Do your opposite side. Add a little side bend. Come back to center. Flex left foot and hinge. One more breath, you can find a little bit more length and then let the head fall. Know that you can always take longer in these stretches at the end as your body's calling you or choose stretches that your body needs. One last twist, bring yourself onto your back. Slowly walk yourself down onto your back. Arms can go out like a T or a U. Legs together, you can draw those knees in or keep feet on the floor. Let legs fall to the right. Gaze can go to the left. Maybe your right hand comes to that left knee, drawing it over. But think about length, like you're letting that left hip reach away from the left shoulder. Anchor the shoulders, bring the knees back to your center and other side. Use the breath. Length through the spine. Adjust your knees to where it feels right for your body. 
You may notice more length through the side body. You may notice more need for a stretch through the hip. There's really no right or wrong. Let your body choose. And know that you can always spend more time in stretching or come back to it later. One more full breath. Gently allow yourself to come back to center. Draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a hug, and then sink your body long on the mat, Shavasana. Take time for your Shavasana. I'm going to leave you here in your Shavasana. Find your breath. Allow yourself to be in this present moment with all the distractions that are going on around us, the pressures that we feel. This time for rest and restore is so valuable for you. Today in your practice, you connected your breath with your movement. You found rotation, wringing out any tension in your body. You found strength and rooting down and grounding all of those are where you can go to when you're in tough struggles. Grounding, going to your core values, and using your breath to pause and restore. Thanks for practicing with me. Again, my name is Shelly, here at the Wellness Center. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.